Today is March 26, 2024. My name is Charles Souter. Today I'm presenting a topic that compares an as-if attitude versus a what-if attitude. My main message, acting as if is power, powerful. It makes you powerful. And acting what-if shows weakness. When you want something intangible you don't have, let's take self-confidence as an instance. Start by acting as if you already have it. Acting confident tends to imbue you with confidence as well as project self-assurance into any situation you find yourself. People will respond better to you when you act confidently. Planning and preparing are other steps you can take to build your self-confidence in new situations. With preparation, once you get into a new situation, you just need to act as if you were confident. Carry out your pre-planned preparations and deal with any unplanned contingencies by handling surprises with your best, most confident self. Don't intentionally look for things to go wrong. Just concentrate on making things go right according to your plan. Continue to act a part of a confident and well-prepared individual and then learn as you go. When unexpected situations arise, just handle it to the best of your ability. Most situations are going to reveal to you what you need to do to succeed, so just pay attention. Proposition 1. People can choose to act with confidence rather than suffer Trepidation. Uncertain situations do require some preparation to ensure success. Preparation reduces anxiety and increases your confidence. Then, once you're prepared, start acting as if you are confident. When faced with an uncertain situation that causes you concern, and you do have time to prepare, you can lift your confidence and reduce anxiety with advanced preparation. Confidence comes from three sources. Number one is just your natural trust and your ability and know-how to handle new situations. If you're lacking there, you can make up for it with the next two possibilities. Advanced preparation, which allows you to adapt faster to new circumstances. And three, a psychological ploy of faking it until you make it. If a specific uncertain situation is triggering your anxiety level, it means your perceived level of threat exceeds your natural confidence in your ability. Sometimes that happens to everyone. So to reduce anxiety and improve your chances of success, you must employ the other two sources of confidence building, preparation and acting as if. Proposition 2. Acting as if instills a sense of power and confidence. So, to get whatever outcome you want, act as if you have already had it, or you've already gotten it. For whatever character trait you admire, act as if you already had it. And to gain extra courage and fortitude, act as if you've already had it. Notice the common thread here. Act as if you've already had it. Once you're prepared, you can boost your self-confidence further once you're in your uncertain situation by acting as if you were confident. By acting the part, your subconscious mind finds ways to play along, drawing from past sources of remembered times when you were confident. Likewise, when you want to change something about your life, a habit or personality quirk, The fastest way to affect change is simply to begin acting like the change had already taken place. The more often you practice and gain experience acting out the change you seek, the more you reprogram the brain's neurological networks so acting eventually becomes a permanent behavior. Proposition 3. Acting what if, on the other hand, creates a sense of fear and weakness. When you leave your comfort zone unprepared, you are vulnerable. And sometimes even when you prepare, there's some vulnerability left. Uncertainty and risk 
induces fear, hesitation, and avoidance in most people. Fear causes you to be defensive and erase your protective shields. Once you are prepared to enter an uncertain situation, you could continue searching for and imagining feared aspects by asking yourself what if questions, but doing so would serve no useful purpose. In fact, doing so can actually induce more fear and anxiety into an otherwise stressful situation instead of imbuing confidence. So instead of looking for what could go wrong, even if you've made adequate preparation, focus on carrying out your prepared plan and deviate it Deviate from it only for good reason, such as you found a better, faster, or cheaper approach. Keep your confidence up by forcing and pretending to be confident. The key is to prepare the confidence you've gained from preparation by simply acting as if you had nothing to fear. Again, if anything arises you haven't prepared for, you simply rise to the occasion and deal with it when it happens. Your motto should be, when faced with some surprises, I can handle it. There is nothing to be gained by preparing for an uncertain outcome and surprises, then ruin it by imagining and replaying fearful what-if scenarios that are unlikely to happen. Unless, of course, you overemphasize them by obsessing over them. So my main message, when uncertainty is present, prepare, and then act as if you can handle it. You have a choice when it comes to dealing with the uncertain future and unknown situations. You can worry and become upset from fear and anxiety, or you can prepare yourself. So prepare, prepare, and prepare until your fears disappear. Preparation builds confidence in advance of your entering uncertain situations and has the potential to eliminate anxiety. But once you get into the uncertain situation, stop thinking about what might go wrong and begin thinking about what you have prepared yourself to do in those circumstances. Focus on acting as if you had nothing to fear, executing your preparations, and above all, acting as your best self when faced with the unexpected. Act as if you knew what you were doing and you will fool everyone, you'll fool everyone else present, including yourself. Put on a good act, and no one will know you're overcoming your misgivings by acting confident. Handle every aspect of the new situation to the best of your abilities, and you will act your way to success. Well, that's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.